Our time is slowly drawing to an end, but before we say goodbye for now, it's time for an election check. Political party Lelo and one of its leaders, Badri Japaridze, will let you know about their election plans and COVID experience. Georgi Sakadze interviewed Badri Japaridze for the checkpoints. How do you feel? Tell me about yourself. Uh, tell me how is Mamuka doing and uh, others, I mean, the rest of your team uh, because of COVID-19. We are doing well. Uh, so Mamuka got uh, COVID-19 uh, from, uh, from one of our supporters. Uh, he is isolated now and uh, very quickly, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that very quickly he will be back. So I have uh, done tests uh, in, just to be on the safe side and the uh, answer was negative. So I, I, I'm, uh, I'm continuing my work and uh, all our, our colleagues who have been in contact with Mamuka one or another way, they, they also have done tests uh, and the uh, answers are negative. So we are, uh, we are working hard, uh, so nothing, no changes in our, in our plans so all the events we were we have scheduled will be uh, will be uh, will be done we will be executed and uh, so we are actively preparing for 31st of october is it a true story that uh, that the disease was caused because of uh, selfie coming from his supporter yes, or that's, it's that's just real story. one of the that's a real story oh, okay uh, one of our supporters she she asked mamuka to make self selfie and uh, after that, she, she after two days, uh, uh, we found out that she got ill by, by COVID, and uh, then Mamuka got the fever, and then uh, he decided to check, and he found out that he also uh, was infected. So that is a real story. Unfortunately, yeah. this pandemic uh, is spreading all over uh, the world, and uh, so we are in that situation. We have to learn how to live with, with COVID. Uh, in the environment and we have to take all precautionary measures in order to be on the safe side to reduce the risk of, of infecting just a few minutes ago uh by the deputy chief of uh, ncdc uh, it was officially declared that covid 19 will reach its peak uh somewhere by the end of november uh do you personally consider that reflection of the coronavirus is going to be dramatic on elections uh, because Lelo, yourself, your allies, I mean political allies, you still support uh, to have uh, parliamentary elections held uh, by the fixed date. We are for uh, convening elections on 31st of uh, October. Only uh, worry we have that this increasing number of uh, infected people uh, might create a, might create sort of environment when people will be scared to go out from uh, from their homes for for the election, and I think this is something which ruling party want to see that there will be low turnout. So what our goal is, and we will do our best and we will do all the efforts uh, within the next uh, two weeks uh, before the elections to encourage people to come out and to vote because the threat will be much higher if things will not change. But if they will follow all the instructions and recommendations from, uh, from the doctors and all the precautionary measures will be, uh, will be uh, used, I think then the, the, the risk of in fact infecting uh, is is very low. It's one of the decisive elections in our history. People will not be scared of the increasing number of uh, COVID-19 cases and will come out and will will vote and will not remain at home. That is something we need to all work hard uh, and not to let uh, ruling party to benefit from the low turnout. Uh, not, but Badri, not because of the ruling party, but uh, don't you see a bit controversial that Wang saying that uh, keep distance, keep social, physical distance, stay at home as much as you can. Uh, we will ask, uh, uh, I'm not saying anything uh, terminology like close to insist uh, uh, to vote, to go outside at least for the 31st. Uh, isn't it a bit uh, quite dramatic, challenging, or uh, fatal 
on your point of view? No, no, absolutely not. Because the problem we are facing now is caused by the fact that people were ignoring uh, recommendations from, uh, from our doctors. That's the reason. So there were big parties organized and people were not keeping social distances. They weren't wearing uh, face masks. This is the reason why we have seen now increased number of uh, COVID-19 cases. So therefore, you know, staying at home, it's not the solution. A solution is to follow the recommendations and to, to, to do all precautionary steps, including social distancing, wearing facial, facial masks, and that is the right answer. And staying at home is not the right answer. And uh, especially uh, staying at home at the day of the elections, because the risks are yeah. higher if people will not come out and they will have a low turnout. Tell me about the competitive advantage uh, of your uh, economic platform called uh, Marshall Plan. And uh, where do you see uh, uh, these advantages uh, coming personally from you and your team? What are the main advantages and the key points on your part? I think uh, this is, there is a clear competitive advantage Lelo for Jordan has. First of all, we are new political force, uh, so we uh, are not having this sort of burden of the uh, of the past. Uh, and we have in our team uh, people, young people, predominantly, who have demonstrated they are successful. Uh, they they have been. Uh, very visible in their fields with their, their working before. And I think competitive advantage, the advantage of Lelo for Georgia is clearly competence, uh, the background and a, a ability to implement the reforms. And in that sense, I don't see any other party who has the same uh, competence as Lelo for Georgia and same professional team as we have. And therefore I'm pretty confident that uh, in case if Lelo for Georgia will uh, become dominant opposition uh, party. Uh, I think that will be big benefit for the country because we will, of course, we will form a coalition government with other opposition parties who will share our sharing uh, Western values. Uh, and uh, we, we have a sort of similarity in that sense that we will be quickly creating coalition government with those political forces and uh, we will start quickly implementing our plans, uh, anti-crisis plans we have described in our, our program uh, with the name New Marshall Plan for Reconstruction of Georgia. Padre, wish you luck, wish you success, and uh, stay you. safe uh, together with your team. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. All the best to you. <laughs>